So I was going through my back catalog and I remember that I have this guy in there. And this is one that I really did like. I thought the art style on it was really, really cool. And this is the Polygo Charizard. Um, I got it from Japan, of course. I bought it a while ago. I know nobody was going too crazy for it. But I think the, the box itself on this is actually really nice. How it just has his name, well, of course, in Japanese. And um, has the figure behind it. He's kind of in, like, the, the classic Charizard pose when he was with Ash. You know, when he's putting his two his two arms up and he's breathing fire out the mouth and and what's special about the this like polygo series or the um the people that made this is is they make like this special like polygon art style and if i remember correctly from when i was looking looking it up and you know going through it the um the people that do that art style and everything like the company that does it they're from new york um is like the original people that were doing this art style or the one that made that that brand name for themselves and whatnot so um yeah i'm just gonna open it up and finally put it in my display case um so yeah this is a brand new figure um, let me try to get this tab okay there we go sorry if i'm doing it off camera i just don't want to rip it there we go got it all right, now right to it. I try to keep the boxes without ripping them or tapping them. Okay, so that's cool. They did put the assembly. What's interesting is they have it in English as well, which makes me think that they might have tried to do an American release at one point. But, um, I mean, I never saw these in stores, of course. And um, this is one of those figures that showed up. Nobody really cared about it, I don't think. Um, you know, if you saw it, but I don't think big like shops around here or anything would have carried it. Um, I really never saw it in stores at all. I mean, I've seen some, some other figures. Now with how GameStop and Walmart are starting to carry figures and whatnot now. Okay, there we go. They put tabs everywhere. All right, give me a sec. Cut through these. All right, here we go. Ooh, it's very glossy. Oh, its head actually moves. Oh, it's actually lighter than I thought it was going to be. Okay, here we go. It's actually pretty glossy, and you can angle his head so you can do a little more of a. And it's actually really light. It's a lot lighter than <laughs> you might look. Oh, <laughs> oopsie. So he's on a ball joint. So that's all right. It's a very light, it's hollow plastic. Yeah. Okay. I'll leave, I'll leave him like that. Uh, let me open up this bottom part and pull out the, his other parts. Sorry if it's too loud. Trying to do this as fast as I can. It's a lot of packaging, just for. I mean, he's probably like a third or a quarter of the size of the, of the packaging. But I mean, it is nice. It's very nice. Part. Let's check out the flame real quick. Oh, it's very glossy. Somewhat transparent. Not super. I think it, it doesn't show up as well on camera, unfortunately. But, I mean, it catches the light cool. Let's pop that in there. Oh, so that tail only goes one way. It's starting to look better already. Shut up the wing. So, they think they put this tab on it just to prevent uh, paint transfers. Very common thing that happens. All right. Tire, put this on him. Oh, it's it's kind of scary. Putting that wing on is kind of scary. Even like like that's cool though. But like how the wing has like the same polygon, even though it could have been flat and round. Oh, 
It catch it catches the light really cool. If this is made out of like crystal or something. I think that would have been crazy. Like a clear plastic kind of crystal, just all see through or something. That might have been interesting. All right, there we go. All together now. Let me get you a better focus on him. There we go. Give you a slight turn so you can see the different angles. So yeah, like I said, this figure, I saw him. I thought it was really cool. I thought the design was really cool um, with all this polygon shape and it catches the light pretty cool. If I have a, he might look better in the case with my double double light strips I have in there. He might have a better better look to him, better aesthetic. But honestly, it reminded me of the 64 and back when I used to play Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 and then also with the transfer pack to transfer Pokemon or play Pokemon on the big TV. I mean, a very simple you know easy aesthetic oh wait there is a ball joint on the tail i just noticed that um you know very simple aesthetic you know thinking you know this is what i mean a lot less polygons in this probably but this is basically what it looked like almost you know but in our imagination they always look 10 times better but and again this was a cool figure i thought it was great looked great price wasn't too bad so i picked it up i think i got it for maybe about like 50 or so maybe less than 50 but it's, I think it's solid. If it feels a little bit cheaper, it might, might have been nicer or something. Oh, that might be a good one right there. If I can get like some fishing line and have them like flying. Is that arms move? Oh, the arms move too. Huh. It's actually a lot more to it than I thought. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and that's all for today.